Morning everyone, it's Vlogmas day two and I'm wearing another Christmas jumper. Don't expect a new Christmas jumper every day. I literally have only got about two at the moment and you've now seen them all. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought why not? We're going shopping for our Christmas tree in a minute. So I thought I need to look festive. I've also got a hat on because I'm getting my hair colored this afternoon and I was in such a rush this morning. I really couldn't be bothered to actually do my hair properly. <laughs> so I've chucked a hat on. I was editing last night until I think about half past two, I was multitasking whilst watching other people's vlogs and editing mine and come the end of it my brain was fried. Yesterday was really busy so I don't think every day is going to be like that and today is definitely not going to be as busy as yesterday. Thank God because I'm so tired right now. I think we woke up about 10 which isn't bad really considering what time we went to sleep. I'm ready to go now and we're going to head off to the garden centre and hopefully my mission is I want to get a little real tree that can be replanted afterwards and I really want it to come in a red pot like a base pot. The time now is oh my god it's quarter to one we're gonna have to leave to get my hair done at about two-ish so we've got an hour to go and get a tree so quick breakfast this morning banana. We're also gonna take Suki with us today because she's just got so much energy and where we've been so busy we've only been able to give the dogs like a small walk um which is fine for the chihuahuas because they honestly hate going out in the cold anyway like they dig their paws in the ground and don't want to go but suki's like really wired so we're going to take her with us today let's go come in with us suki gonna get a christmas tree it's your first christmas isn't it yeah So this is kind of like the size we want, but I really wanted them in a red bucket. You get them like that, they would just live. Yeah, that's what that's what I want one, because you can replant it as well, so it's not as wasteful. Yeah, that is good. Oh, look at these nice little pastel colour decorations. I know Emily from the Bell Jar blog has gone pastel this year. She'd like these. We can see red buckets. <gasps> we can see red buckets. That's too small, that one in the red bucket. I think you might have to carry it. Getting a bit. <laughs> so these red bucket ones that Andy spotted are the really tiny ones. Oh, they've got these baskets. Look nice in one of them, wouldn't it? Yeah. Thirty pounds though. <laughs> Are ridiculous. Okay, if all else fails, we might go for a green pot. That's a, that's just a pot, isn't it? With holes in the bottom. Yeah, but then you can get one of these as well. Oh uh, yeah. That's Does that fit in that? A big one. But you got to take it out of the pot it's already in. No. You don't. Just put the black one in there. Yeah. Is that big enough? Can they do a big, even bigger one? No, right? I think that would be big enough. Hold on to that, we might see, we might see something better. The rest maybe take a couple and see what it looks good in. Yep. I think we've found a nice one. I think I'm gonna prefer the green pot to be honest. That's the one. But then I'm not sure about that tree now. It's a bit low. <laughs> yeah. Let's just go for that one that you put in the pot. And he's like the most indecisive person, so when it comes to something like Christmas tree buying, it's just like mine there. I think, I think we're happy with this one, it looks nice in the green pot as well. Because we're going away this year, it doesn't feel right getting a massive one, Andy normally gets like a seven footer. But we were just saying as well, we might be able to take this one away with us, because Andy's getting a trailer, and it might fit in the trailer. But I think the cabin provide you with a Christmas tree anyway. Yeah, but we need to make it as Christmassy as possible, so the tree might be coming with us. We've come in here the other day already, but they've got quite a good display in there, haven't they? Yeah. I think we're good for decorations, but I'm always tempted. We'll go in the pet shop now, Suki. Pet's corner. <laughs> Suki doesn't need a Christmas jumper, her coat's so 
big as it is. I feel like she needs one like this though, like a little waterproof. That's quite thick though as well. She just gets too hot in it. She gets so hot. Right, I need to get some cat biscuits. Oh, it's crazy to think that's what she actually looked like when we got her. That's what she, that's what she looked like. like. Look at March. That was basically what she was. Oh my god. Now she... That one, look, so January looks a bit like Fifi. My mum's on. These shoes just really grossed me out. She'd love this. What is this? Pizzle sticks. Suki, do you like the smell of this? Suki. Oh. Do you like that? I could have really done with one of these yesterday. So festive in here. I've decided that if I put a big red bow around my green bucket like that, then it will look like festive. I'm really pleased that we've got the tree today, even though I had to sacrifice the red bucket thing, but it's just another massive thing off the list of things to do, really. And we'll have it for this weekend, and it means we can decorate it tomorrow now. We're running ever so slightly behind schedule, so we're gonna have to shoot to Sudbury now in the car so I can go and get my hair done, and I'm starving hungry, and I don't think I'm gonna be able to get lunch before I go in there. Maybe Andy might be able to bring me something in there. Now having dramas trying to fit the tree in the car, Ironically, this is the biggest car we've ever had and probably the smallest tree we've ever bought. <laughs> I think this will work, hopefully. It's in. <laughs> Am I gonna have room to sit in the front? It's in. we've just pulled into Waitrose which is near my hair salon. Funny story about this Waitrose, we've lived not too far from Sudbury for three years now, just over three years and we never knew that there was a Waitrose here and it's kind of blown our mind a little bit. <laughs> I mean we do all of our shopping online anyway really but it's just nice to know there's a little Waitrose here and they do like nice veggie sushi so hopefully Andy's going to be able to get some of that. I think we're just going to have like lunch in the car because we've really run out of time. I've only got it's half past two now and I managed to delay my hair appointment by 15 minutes so I've got half an hour, just less than half an hour before I've got to be at the salon. Today is crazy busy but I think what's getting me through is knowing that we don't have any plans after I get my hair done. So we can literally just go home, put our pyjamas on, chill out. I'm not going to decorate the tree today. I'm going to do that tomorrow because we've got a bit of time tomorrow afternoon at home. So. I'm gonna do it then. Yeah, so tonight we're just gonna chill, which I really need, and we said we might get a bag of chips. <laughs> Cause we just really, we just saw someone walking along with a bag of chips and we were like, oh, we could really have that now, but I think we'll have that for dinner tonight. Um, a bit naughty, but we are gonna go to the gym in the morning and it's all about balance, right? Are you happy? We have sushi for lunch. And Andy got a falafel wrap, which I initially thought was vegan, but no, it's got feta in it. So Andy's just dropped me off and he's going to take the dog and the Christmas tree back home and then he's going to come back and pick me up after I get my hair done. I look like shit right now and I can't stop crying because I went to the hair salon and they done my hair colour which I was really happy with and then I come out and I was walking down to meet Andy back at Waitrose and I just tripped and I don't even know what I tripped up. It might have been the curb or something else on the pavement and it was just like slow motion and I just hit the ground so hard. I I just couldn't believe it. I never fall over. 
I think the last time I fell over I was just like on ice and I just slipped on my bum. I can't even remember the last time I fell over like this. It, it was just awful and I just felt like I couldn't get up. I was just like sprawled out on the pavement and I just literally felt like I couldn't get up and loads of cars were driving past and I felt really embarrassed but I kept thinking oh someone's going to stop and get out and help me but no one did which kind of surprised me a bit and I was just like really crying I couldn't just it was just the shock of it I think it just really shook me up and I just thought I've got to get up I've got to get up and I, I was finding it really hard to get up because my knees and my hands hurt so much and I sort of all my stuff like just fell out of my bag and was all over the pavement and it was just so horrible and all I could do was just like pick up my phone and I just rang Andy and I said I've fallen over luckily he was only around the corner and then when I got off the phone to him I just felt so sick and like I was gonna pass out I don't know if it was like the shock of it or the pain I don't know um I just felt sick like I literally had to take my coat off and it was freezing but I just felt like I needed air and I just the really horrible feeling come over me um luckily nothing smashed my camera and my phone and everything was okay and then Andy saw me from the road so he come <clears throat> quite quickly and like put me in the car and stuff and to look at I mean I don't even look that damaged I've, he's just put Savlon on me but I've got like a bad graze on this hand and a little one on this hand it looks like nothing but I can't even tell you how much that aches and is stinging right now it's so horrible and I'll show you my knees as well so he's covered this one in Savlon as well there's a graze on this one but I can already see it's like it's going a bit swollen and red and this one's got a little graze and I can see the bruise coming up on that one now as well my knees hurt the most I think they hurt so bad I must have hit them so hard my knees and my hands took the force of it I just on the way home I just couldn't stop crying like I think it just really shook me up it just really shocked me and it was just really horrible I left the hair salon and I was feeling really upbeat and me and Andy were going to have a little walk around wait Waitrose before coming home and it was just like bang and that was it anyway I'm going to put on my pyjamas and I think we're just going to get something to eat and just chill out really so just before I fell over and things got horrible, um, I bought this at the salon today. It's one of the Paul Mitchell um, Christmas gift boxes because um, they said I should put like a colour care shampoo and conditioner on my hair to make the colour last longer. So in this one it's the Paul Mitchell Colour Care Protect Daily Shampoo and Conditioner. And I'm a big fan of Paul Mitchell because he's one of the salon cruelty free brands um, and I already like his products so yeah I thought that was quite good value as well it's 20 pounds and these they look like the usual full sizes and normally they're a bit more than that I think they're like 15 pounds each so it was really worth it so we've put the little tree in its place and it's worked out really well actually it looks really good and that's probably about as high as our tree was last year but it was just like a massive tree and it just took up so much room because it was so wide um, so this works really well I'm pleased that we got the green pot and the pine cones that I bought I've put in the bottom which looks really nice I still want to get a red ribbon I think to put around the top of the pot but I need to go out and buy that from somewhere but yeah I'm really pleased with it and he's getting the Christmas box out yeah oh. they're the warm white ones yeah they're warm they're all right i quite like them oh yeah oh we got him in stockholm this time last year sweden and stockholm amazing like amazing to go to this time of year because everything is just so christmasy and he normally goes 
beside our fireplace. I don't think there's any more lights in it. So the tree is up and the lights are on it. I think it looks really festive with these sort of warm white lights. I really like them. Also quite classy, I think. What do you think, Fappy? You don't look very impressed, do you? You're I'm not in, you're something. not impressed. Fappy, you're not impressed with the tree? You could look a little bit mm. happier. So I've got some mail to open today. This looks like another Christmas card, so let's see who it's from. If you hear me moaning and groaning, it's gonna be because my knees are absolutely killing me. and dogs someone knows me well T Sarah I hope you have a lovely Christmas and happy new year I am forever inspired with all your vegan food posts lots of love Yasmina at July journal oh thank you Yasmina that is so sweet she knows I like cats and dogs and what nice words as well I love it that someone's inspired by my vegan food <laughs> if it inspires more people to go vegan then that's good I have wrote mine, I have wrote my cards, I just need to post them and there's a couple more I need to write before I head to the post office so that's what I'm waiting on but I shall pop Yaz with Lauren's. I've just realised this is the second card I've got with cats and dogs on. <laughs> I'm expecting a lot of cat and dog cards this year. I'm going to need a knife to open the next parcel. Oh my god it's something from Yogi Tea. This looks amazing. Oh my God, Yogi Tea is stocking, that's so cool. I'm getting such good blogger mail lately. It's really great and it seems to be a really popular time of year. Oh my God, Christmas tea. That's really cheered me up after the shitness of falling over. I might have to have some of this tonight. How good does that look? What other ones have we got? Matcha lemon, that's good. Um, the only kind of really herbally teas I absolutely love are the green and sort of lemony ones, but I'm willing to give these a go. Heartwarming, oh, basil, orange peel, chili. Ooh, that sounds good. And what we've got here, throat comfort. Oh, these are all really sort of wintery vibe ones. I really like these. These are all sort of geared up for like the winter period and Christmas. Oh yeah, I remember from the last package they sent me, it's really cool actually. You can use their tea in like different recipes that you'd never kind of expect. Throat comfort sweet bread. I'm going to have to do a nice picture for Instagram, I think, with some tea sticking out of the stocking. Are you right there, Suki? Oh. I'm tired. It's been eventful, hasn't it, getting the tree? It's time to open day two on the traditional advent calendar. I wonder what we're going to have today. Where are you, number two? What's up here? Oh, there's a little teddy bear in a sleigh, filled with lots of presents. So I've just come downstairs now and I'm gonna watch some YouTube. Um, my knees are really hurting and I'm gonna have to sit with them up like this because the dogs have already jumped on them once and they're going crazy at the moment. This is like their mad hour time, I think. Can you see how festive this bit is though? I really like it. Ignore Suki's bedtime crate over there, but we just lined the top of the TV stand with fairy lights. And I've just put a cushion there and I just really love it. It just feels so cozy. I've got some Christmas bedding on the bed at the moment as well. This was from Georgia Asda and it's so nice. It's like a sort of brushed cotton. It's really, really soft and warm as well. It's really nice. And the pillows are the same, but it's like reversible. So you've just got like snowflakes on the back. I wasn't going to do a home tour yet, but you're going to see stuff anyway. And he's just bought chips home and this is exactly what I need after how I'm feeling this evening. My legs are so sore. So Andy's just put the Tesco accidentally vegan churros in the oven. Let's give them a whirl. Mm. These are so good. 
I was just saying, we think they're the best churros we've ever had, actually. Mm. So if you haven't got them from Tesco's yet, definitely get them. A little update on my knees as well. They're still killing me. Excuse my crazy hair right now, but it's bedtime. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Today's been good, like really good and also really bad. And I'm in a lot of pain right now. So I'm looking forward to seeing what my knees look like in the morning. So I'll be sure to update on that. And I'm not really sure what tomorrow holds now, but I'm definitely gonna decorate the tree tomorrow, which is something I'm really looking forward to. So yeah, I'll see you then. Bye.